Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect. And today, I want to do a lesson on, you know, about how the law I won't get you cool points by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Come on. Because you got these guys down here called IUIC, who is all about the law, man. You know, so basically, or what they're teaching is that you can be saved by the law, man. See, they don't deal, uh, you know, uh, they don't deal with the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, uh, them guys are frustrating the grace of Yahweh Shai, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Basically, they saying that Yahweh Shai came and got his head beat for no reason. You know, because they saying that I can, you know, um, I can keep the law, you know what I'm saying, to the best of my ability, you know, because uh, uh, basically they saying that I don't need Yahweh Shai sacrifice. But I'm going to get into the scriptures, man. And it's a book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 1. It said, O foolish Galatian, who have bewitched you, that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes ye have shah Mashiach have been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This only would I learn of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. And um, uh, this is a question to you niggas at IEYC, man. Did you guys receive the Spirit? By keeping the law before you came into the truth, hmm. or by hearing that you was an Israelite, man. No, you believe, and that's how you receive the Spirit, man. Because you believe, not because you were keeping the law, man. Because before you came into the truth, you was a fucking nigga, man. Uh. But now all of a sudden, uh, you made uh, perfect by the flesh, man. They say, "Are you so foolish, having begun in the Spirit? Are you now made perfect by the flesh?" So y'all came in in the Spirit, but now y'all saying that. It's all about the law. The law, the law, the law. The laws of God. Man, look, don't you niggas know <laughs> that you are under the curse if you don't keep the whole law of the Bible, man? God. This is Galatians chapter 3, verse 10. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Curses everyone that continue not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. In IUIC, you are not keeping all the laws of the Bible, man. That's right. You guys are not going around killing faggots, you know what I'm saying, or uh, killing lesbians, you know. Y'all got a damn heathen for y'all president, man, you know what I'm saying. The law said it, that uh, you're supposed to have one of your brethren uh, ruling over you, man. You know, but your ass in captivity, man. And y'all know that y'all can't keep the whole law of the Bible, but yet you pushing on Jake, man. Come No, man, look, uh, Jake don't need that, man. You know, it says, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of your house. For it is evident, so like it say, it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Right? It say, Yahweh shall have redeemed us from the curse of the law, man. Yeah, man, uh, we are redeemed uh, by the sacrifice of Yahweh shall, man. That's right. You know, it say, being made a curse for us, for it is written, cursing everyone that hang on the tree. But yet, you guys frustrate the grace of Yahweh shall, man. Uh, this is Galatians chapter 2 verse 16 Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law But by the faith of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach Even we have believed in Yahweh Shah HaMashiach That we might be justified by the faith of Yahweh Shah And not by the works of the law But by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified man So we are justified by the sacrifice of Yahweh Shah man You know what I'm saying But you guys keep pushing Yahweh Shah to the side Telling or your congregation that they need to keep the law. You know? Or this is Galatians 2 and 21. I do not frustrate the grace of Yahweh Shai. Now, I mean, Salaki so say, I do not frustrate the grace of Yahweh. Now, if you look at the word frustrate, it's, uh, I think it's uh, at the tail, I think, but it means to reject, man. Y'all, you guys are rejecting Yahweh Shai. They say, I do not frustrate the grace of Yahweh. For if righteousness came by the law, then Yahweh Shai is dead in vain, man. That's right. So you tell me that Yahweh Shai came and got his ass beat for no reason? Nigga, is you crazy? <laughs> y'all guys, man, look. Y'all guys got a heavy judgment, man. Go on. Uh, uh, man, look. I'm going to get I'm gonna get two more scriptures. Right? This is, uh, uh, this is a book of Matthew. <laughs> chapter 5. Matthew 5 and 20 say, For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall receive the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, 
ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Ooh. You know that Yahweh shall not talking about the wicked scribes and Pharisees. That's right. <laughs> he talking about a uh, Pharisee like uh, Gamaliel and Paul, them man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Paul said he was blameless, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, touching the law, meaning whether he ain't mess up. You know what I'm saying? But get what Paul said though. <laughs> get what Paul said, man. Uh, this Philippians chapter three, man. Philippians chapter three, and I'm starting verse four. It say, "Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any man, if any other man thinking he had whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more." You know what I'm saying? So Paul said, "Look, I kept the law better than you niggas." That's right. Okay? Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin. And Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law and Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. So Paul said, look, I'm blameless uh, concerning the, the law, man. You know what I'm saying? Paul said, look, I have my own righteousness. But on uh, people he said, he said, but what things was gained to me, those I kind of lost for you, how was shot. Yea, doubtless, and I counted all things. But lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach, how it shot my Lord, for whom I have suffered, suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dog that I might win how it shot. So Paul said, My righteousness won shit, man. Because, oh. because of, uh, in the Isaiah, they say, Our righteousness is at 50 rags, man. So you don't get no cool point for the most happy because you uh, keep the law perfect, man. Say um and being found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of a Mashiach, the righteousness which is of the most high by faith. So this righteousness that we <laughs> the faith that we in right now, man, this is the righteousness of the most high, man. Our faith is counted for righteousness, man. So why you niggas keep pushing the law, the law, the law? Why? You want to know why? Because in the reincarnation, you niggas are described in the wicked Pharisees. Man. That's right. Them y'all niggas, but here, but here, a great minister. Don't look, uh, <coughs> hey, look, man. We gonna teach the faith that you have a shot, man. That's right. To hell with you niggas, man. So I'm gonna give all praises and the glory to you how about me how shot. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of great minister. Peace and blessing to the elect who are keeping the faith in you how shot in the gospel. Shalom.